It's been up in the air. People have been trying to make it more dramatic because he was on vacation and it didn't get signed. They didn't know what was going to happen. Jalen Brown was off vacation for one day and inked the deal. Hmm. He now has the richest contract in NBA history um, and signed his super max extension with the Boston Celtics, which is a five year, $304 million contract extension. Um, and it will be fully guaranteed with a trade kicker. Um, and there is no player option on the deal. So off the bat, I want to just know what your opinions are because like every, anytime the most expensive contract gets dished out, it becomes polarizing because you're going to see a lot of people that are like, they had to do it. They had to, you know, just have to kind of pony up and like give out the money. There's a lot of people that are like, this is stupid. Why are we giving somebody that's not even the best player on his team 300 M's? So what do you, you think about this super max extension for Jalen Brown? I think that they had to do it. Um, I think that what for all the people that's saying, oh, I wouldn't have paid him. I'd have just traded him. Traded him where? For what? Yeah. For for what? Like how? Trading him? What are you doing? Unless you're getting Damian Lillard, which is like still a very expensive contract for an older player. It's like you're not gonna trade him and get the same value, especially when that team that's trading for him knows that they're gonna have to pay him a huge contract. So it's like. No, his value isn't as high as a lot of people just think it is. And it's not as easy to just trade this guy. Like People think it's just as simple as, like, I'd have just traded him. It's not that easy. It's not that simple. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you traded for Kristaps, you gave him this two-year extension, you're all in right now. Your goal is to win a championship. You're all in. So if you're all in, why would it make sense to let go of Jalen Brown? Like, that that right. just doesn't make sense. You have to pay him. I understand it's a lot of money, but... That's just the way the NBA is right now, bro. The NBA is giving out a lot of bags, bro. The NBA, right. it, as, the money is just flowing in. So I just feel like they had to, they had to pay Jalen Brown if they were still going to be a contending team. And I feel like they can, they can win a championship. Like I think a lot of people really just don't think that they can win with them, bro. They can win with that. that they team were can two win. wins away from beating the Warriors. Like if J if Jason Tatum plays better, they win. If Jason Tatum plays to Jason Tatum level, they win. And Jalen, right. no one wants to talk about how good Jalen Brown played in that series and in that whole playoff run. Bro right. was just coming off of a season where he was second team All NBA, averaging like twenty seven points a game. He's not bad. Like I get it, the left hand jokes are funny. He's not bad, bro. Right. And I think I think we would both agree if they didn't sleepwalk in the Eastern Conference Finals to start that series, like they should have been in the finals this year. Mm -hmm. And it, like, there's probably even an argument to be made if Jason Tatum don't roll his ankle in Game Seven. Who, who knows? knows? Like, obviously that's all what ifs, and like the Heat won that series, like they deserve that. But look, the Celtics didn't come out and lay three goose eggs back to back to back in those first three games. They were probably in the finals against Denver. I don't know if they beat Denver, but like, that all goes back to your point of like, this is a championship level team. So getting rid of your second best player who has had been in trade rumors for basically every year now about if him and Jason Tatum can coexist, but they can play together. This should like this past season. And then obviously the finals run the year before that should be more than enough for you all to understand that the two of them are there. Like you need to capitalize on this window right now. That's what I think they're doing. Um, with the amount of money that they're dishing out. But realistically, this is going to be the case with every single, and it's been like this. Like, I don't, I don't know why people get so up in arms about the size of these contracts, because this is not going to be the biggest contract in NBA history for that long. It's not, bro. The money is just when his go teammate up goes up, up, Jason Tatum's extension is like 340 or 350, something crazy. Like, it's that's just the salary cap keeps getting bigger and it happens every single time there's a new CBA and there's, um, you know, the new TV money comes in like there's the first big extension that goes after that is always like, oh, my gosh, this is crazy overpay. But Mike Conley got one hundred eighty million dollars on the Grizzlies um, without ever having made an all star game. 
Yeah, bro. It's always like that. It's just the fact that it always, it seems like that biggest, that first big extension always goes to someone who's not like top five player in the league. So it's All like, right. and then they put, they, I hate when they always pull up like the Jalen Brown's making this and this player's only making this and this player's only making this. And it's like, bro, that player was eligible for a contract extension right now. He'd be making 350, like you said. So right. people really need to just stop overreacting. And they act like they, they're giving this to a bum. He was second team All NBA. Right. Like, they're not giving it to, to like, Dylan Brooks. Like, they're giving it to somebody that's actually a, a one of, the, I, I think, top, what, 20 to 25 best players in the league. Like, exactly. yes, he, he's had a bad moments, but, bro, he's also had great moments. Like, last year's championship, he was the best player on the Celtics. If Jason Tatum plays to just Jason Tatum level, they win the championship. That's how I feel. Yeah. And, like, who knows? Jalen Brown could have been Finals MVP the way he was playing. Like he was playing great, and like back then. Matter of fact, how do y'all go from this? This doesn't make sense to me. How do you go from Jalen Brown needs his own team? He's better than Jason Tatum. Like how do you go from that to don't he stinks? He doesn't have a left hand. He didn't have a left hand when y'all was saying when y'all was making that whole claim that he was better than Jason Tatum. He didn't have a left hand then. So it's like what 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 changed, bro? People need to learn to. When you are evaluating players strictly on court, we've got to, and I'm saying we is like really the media and fans as a whole, y'all got to learn to separate contracts from on court play. Mm -hmm. Because, like, that was, I think, such a big reason why Russ was getting viewed the way that he did. And it's clear, like, he regressed, but he was getting viewed like it was like, Bro, there was legitimate people acting like Russ couldn't play in the NBA anymore. Right. But it was because he's getting paid $40 million a year and wasn't playing up to nowhere near that level. Mm -hmm. But now because he's on a $3 million deal, it's like, oh, my gosh, we saw what he was doing with the Clippers last year. That's a steal. Right. Y'all need to remove contracts from how you're evaluating players. Like, that's something to think about in terms of team construction – like, we're just solely looking at what a player can or can't do on the court, how good they are, and how they fit with the team. I don't have nothing to do with how much they're getting paid. And some of that is skewing how people really view players. And so there's going to be a lot of people now that are hyper, hyper critical of all of Jalen Brown's flaws, like you said, because he's making, I think the first year of this deal, he starts out making $52 million a year. And then in mm -hmm. the year 2028, he's making. 69.1 million dollars so they're gonna be so so critical of every little thing he does wrong because he's getting almost 70 million dollars a year bro in the year 2028 this might not even be the top 10 biggest contract it's probably not gonna be bro bro the salary cap is gonna go i think it's it's basically they capped it now at 10 percent because of the KD year, where it was like the salary cap jumped like 20 some percent. And that's how the Warriors are able to kind of finesse all them contracts at once. Mm -hmm. So they capped it at 10. So they don't have that ever happen again. But that means it's probably going to hit that 10% every single year. And the Supermax gives teams, I think you can go up to 35% of the cap. So it's like, bro, if the cap is growing 10% every year, bro, first of all, Jason Tatum's extension is off rip next year, going to be bigger than this. Mm -hmm. Every other. Like, when Shea goes up for extension, it's going to be bigger because he's already made – everybody that makes all NBA that's young and is going to be in their 20s and due for an extension is going to have a bigger contract than this. And y'all act like you're going to, like, by the time his contract's up, he's going to be a 38-year-old wash player. Like, bro, he's – how old is Jalen Brown? 26? Right. He's going to maybe just now be tapping 30 at that point. Like, bro, he's still – you're going to get a all NBA caliber player alongside your – top 10 all nba caliber player for the next five years y'all are going to compete at minimum just compete for the next five years that's the other thing too i think people got are getting too held up on the fact that Jalen brown isn't the best player on the celtics so how is he making 300 m's but it's like he's not the best player on this team but he could go to a lot of teams and be the best player on that team mm -hmm. he's that good but they just so happen to have drafted very well and have two very good wings on the team at the same time. Mm -hmm. So he shouldn't he shouldn't get his bag because he's he's not better than Jason Tatum. 
Like it, the the alternatives to them giving them giving him this extension are not good. You let him walk for nothing, which is like nightmare scenario, or you trade him, and now you run the risk of you again. You already know that this is a team that can get to the finals and compete, and like we're being honest, should have two finals appearances by now. Thing or, you know, a couple things fall their way injury wise. You know, even in that final series against the Warriors, Tatum, you know, at whole playoffs that had the shoulder injury. Like they can be a little bit more healthy. They might have a ring already. And we th- this discussion probably don't even happen. Because it's it just is like a no brainer, but they already want a ring. They're still competing for rings. Like you got to keep the core together. But because mm-hmm. they weren't able to do it, people are always gonna have those question marks. But I think in both of our minds, they're there. They have the pieces. You have to compete now. And so, like I said, sometimes you have to pay more to keep your guys. In this contract, like I said, bro, in a couple of years, this if, like worst case scenario, they feel the need to have to bring it up. It'll be tradable because there will be other people making this kind of money. Mm-hmm. And like, what, like what? Well, so we're looking at like what, like fifty m's a year. We're seeing role players get like twenty. You could c- package a couple of role players together and make the money match, like for real. So it's you get people got to step out and look at the bigger picture of well, the Celtic situation, where the money is going in the league moving forward, how the new CBA works, and like all of those things considered, like the Celtics, I think had to give him the money. I think it was the right thing to do for them moving forward yeah and i just think people need to stop contradicting themselves because it's like like i said before Jalen brown was just better than jason tatum in you guys eyes now he stinks oh. jason tatum can't win a championship as the number one option so if you really believe that why letting go of the other all nba caliber player why would that make their chances to win a championship better if you already think jason tatum can't win it as a number one Let's make his chances worse by removing the second best player in the team who's all NBA. Like, it's just everyone's saying that this is a problem and not coming up with a solution in their minds that would that can work or makes any sense. Like, right. people people think that, like, oh, I'm going to just trade him. Like, people think that, like, just saying, like, I'm going to trade him just instantly means, like, I, I'm going to trade him for another all NBA caliber player. Like, that's just, that's not right. how and, stuff and the, works. The, the fit's going to be, the fit's going to work. Fit's going to be perfect. Money going to work. Right. Everything. They're just going to click. Right. Whoever they trade for is never going to want out. Right. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's like, bro, that's, it's not how, this is real life, bro. It's not 2K right. where you can just put stuff in it and, like, you can just trade people. It's not 2K. Right. You can't bro. just click Jalen Brown on a trade finder and look at all the different options. That's right. Not like, how pe- it really works. people have to be offering those players. Like, it's, right. it's not how that stuff works, bro. People need um, to stop overreacting. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, even all the, like, on the court stuff aside, look, bro, shout out to Jalen Brown. You just got. You got the bag of all bags. Respect. 300 M's is crazy. Almost $70 million for one NBA season is, that's crazy, bro. We're in our lifetime. We're going to see people get like five years, $500 million, make a hundred million dollars a year. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy to think about. I'm waiting for somebody to get that Mbappe money, that $700 million a year. All I know is, man, my future kid's going to have that soccer ball. That's the mm-hmm. because 700 M's is crazy. Bro, that's insane. Even the fact that it's like they ha- they would have to pay his team now like $350 million just to get him on the team. That's crazy. They bro. have too much money. I was they have too much, way that's too, much, too bread. much money. That's too much bread, bro. I'm sorry. Would you take that? Like, so like let's say you were like, I'm trying to think of somebody who's like peak of their powers right now. Like, all right, let's say you like you, Jason Tatum, you just now about to hit your prime. You got all the endorsements, everything. You in the league, you established, right? You up for extension next year, you got like a five year, $330 million deal. But this basketball team in Saudi Arabia called you. They said, bro, we could get you on a two year, <laughs> two year, $1 billion deal. Dog. <laughs> I will go play Afghanistan <laughs> for, for a billion dollars, bro. Like, I don't care where it's at, bro. Shit me to the Bermuda Triangle. I'll play in the middle of the ocean, bro. I don't care, bro. I will hoop 
for a billion dollars? Come on, bro. That's a lot of money, bro. Like, bro, that dude that's getting a billion dollars could call Jalen Brown broke. <laughs> Like, he could say, bro. He could say, bro. We, let's go like, 100, 100 m for hundred m right now, <laughs> right. and I bet you you'll run out first. Like what? He could really. He if Mbappe took this deal, he could take all of Jalen Brown's five year extension and throw it in the ocean and still have double that left over. <laughs> Honestly, bro, one person doesn't even need that. What do you even need that much you money for? Don't, you, Dude, don't, you bro, don't. You don't. Honestly, when you when you genuinely think about, like, really, really think about the concept of this, right? Let's just say, Jalen, bro, forget the seven. Th- that's a crazy amount, bro. It's like, bro, I'm going to give you $300 million because you could make this basketball go into that basket over here. Right. <laughs> like, bro, that's such a crazy concept when you genuinely think about it. And because so many people want to watch you do that. Here's three hundred million dollars. Right. The whole time I got freaking doctors saving lives, and, and like don't nobody, don't nobody care. You ain't getting working, no working thirty six hours straight. Right. You ain't getting, you ain't getting three hundred m's, my boy. They I'm can't sorry. even get close going to, to seven s- figures. Going to school for a hundred years just to <laughs> just to come out, right. and you got that's, this guy, this guy that hit the genetic lottery, and he's just three hundred m's. Like that's it's so crazy when you actually think about it. It really is, 